Okay, so here we go. We have your. We're going to condense this as much as we can while maintaining. Yeah. Um, this is a word from uh, Metal Sucks, by the way. And yeah, we should we should always quote these articles by um, our friend Axel, Axel Rosenberg. Rosenberg. PSA: It is not necessary to dress metal to be metal. Important topic of <laughs> important discourse. Okay, a couple months ago, I was at one of those fancy industry shindigs. I am sometimes am forced to or get to go to. Since, you know, I'm the most important person in metal. And by the way, that thing that links to, that's the uh, Metal Sucks countdown of the most important people in metal. You're so important, Axel Rosenberg. So he just gave into the haters and put himself as number one. Um, My choice of attire for the evening, I admit, was not what traditionally metal uh, in any sense. I was wearing blue pants, a matching cardigan, and a tan shirt. It wasn't long before someone fairly prominent within the industry, no names. No, it was. Walked (laughs) Who finished, finished the quote, finished what walked said. over to me, told me I stuck out like a sore thumb. Do you know who that was? And questioned my very metalness. Okay, I know who it was off the bat. It was Joey DeMaio. And he was like, you are wearing Cracker Jack clothes. You <laughs> are false metal. You better change that's right it. now. That's what Cracker Jack clothes are. Yeah, that's what, yeah, no, that's what he means. He's talking about Axel Rosenberg when he means <laughs> Cracker Jack clothes. That's exactly who he's talking about. Okay. I smiled politely and walked away. He didn't even address. Joey DeMaio was like, I was talking to you. Don't walk away from me. The suggestion that the way I dress means I am not an authentic metal fan is in a word nonsense. Take that, Joey DeMaio. Joey DeMaio was like, I'm talking to you. See, I've recently made a very conscious decision to change the way I dress. At some point last year, I looked in the mirror and realized that at age 37... I was still wearing the same sorts of clothes I wore when I was 17. Jeans, sneakers, and a band shirt, upon which there was either a monster, a swear word, or a swear word and a monster. It's a guar shirt. So he wore, he wore guar short shirts every day. Yeah. I decided this wasn't good for me. And why, pray tell, was this bad for me, Axel Rosenberg? Well, as the case for so many of us, I've long struggled with anxiety and depression. Me too. Yeah. At some point, it occurred to me that a lot of those issues, although perhaps chemical, biological at their base, were being exacerbated by feeling like I was still a kid. Axel's so well-spoken. Well, he's, you know, he's a professional. He is a professional. He then goes on to describe, you know, all the anxieties of, you know, adulting. Yeah. And I guess feeling like he wasn't capable of adulting because of the way he looked. Listen, millennial, back in my day, we used to call that just, you know, just life. Is he a millennial? I uh, guess 37? he is. Yeah. 37 is an old millennial, I would say. Uh, Yeah, technically, yeah. But, you know, some boomer would say it to him, you know, if you like. So, He's yeah. definitely not Gen X. No, no, no. No, definitely not, for sure. Okay. It has taken and continues to take a lot of work on my part to combat these feelings. But something I found immensely helpful, again, for me personally, was to dress like an adult or, for lack of a better description, embracing aesthetic change, paraphrasing here, was key to embracing psychological change i mean it's not like i'm walking around in a goddamn tuxedo i just look a lot more like a member of between the buried and me than a member of cognitive i we i don't know who cognitive is no. i do know who between the buried and me though yeah. and they're yeah. nerds yeah, so nerds, total nerds way to look like a nerd yeah. i didn't throw away any of my metal merch i'll hoard that shit till the day i die i do still wear it when the mood strikes me but i no longer wear it on a daily or near daily basis I do still buy merch from time to time to support bands I love. If there's a merch item I can purchase that isn't clothing, all the better. For whatever reason, I have no problem sipping coffee from a Lake Bukake mug. The what way is, I, what is Lake Bukake? The way I do wearing my Lake um, Bukake comment threads down below. on a regular basis. If you know that, comment in the in the comment I, in the chat. I section. mean, as much as he wants to be like, look, you know, I don't have to look metal. I'm just gonna name drop the most esoteric shit to make you guys all feel excluded from my little world here. But I don't trust metal anymore because that's exclusionary. Mm. <laughs> okay. So. This is the defining parallel of me- heavy metal. It's about nonconformity, only not really. Go to any metal show and you'll find yourself surrounded by a sea of people who are dressed more or less the same way. He's right. Which makes sense. Despite the comp- constant emphasis on rebellion, no one wants to feel alone. Everyone wants to belong. One really easy way to feel like you belong is to dress the same way as a lot of other people. I don't really want anyone talking to me. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you're just like you want to stand out if you don't wear the uniform to the heavy metal show. I never, you know, 
I used to, you know. I, I, well, anyway, continue. Finish your. Okay, before. we'll talk about it after we're done here, which is okay. shortly, I swear. Yeah. It's been 24 years since the metal community busted Metallica's balls for cutting their hair. But somehow, true cultists uh, still... Cavalt with a V. Yes. Still refuse to take artists like a kill switch engages Adam Dutkowitz... You're terrible. ...periphery and Deaf Heaven seriously just because of the way they look. It's not because of the way they look. I'm I'm pushing back here. It's not because of how <laughs> they look. It's not because you dress I that I mean, way. I'm sure for some people that's a factor, but I would say the main factor is not that. Yeah. I've even seen people online take swipes at Devin Townsend for abandoning his skullet yeah. and death metal shirt. He had look. to get rid of the the, the the thing on his head. He's, he looks better <laughs> ball, you know. Like he, he had to get rid of that thing. It was scary. Well, it's absurd. Yeah. When Kim Kardashian is rocking a morbid angel shirt. Yeah, and then, and then uh, Gary Holt is like, I want to kill the Kardashians. <laughs> the very idea of a morbid angel shirt as a signi- signifier of fandom is obsolete. I mean, if you want to look like a morbid angel fan, the last thing you should do is wear their shirt. I think so. I mean, that follows logically. Yeah, that's true. For metal to be truly the open-minded, progressive form of music it claims to be, which I do not think it claims to be that. Do you think it claims to be that? No. no. Like, it's more like the open-minded genre? Um, not not really. Not for, no. my, not for a lot of the comments we just got on our... Um, uh, our bit about uh, smod. Uh, no, I'm not gonna <laughs> think. A lot of us are open-minded. But for metal to really. actually practice what it preaches, practice what you preach. Preach. It has to welcome anyone yeah. and everyone. It has to say, "Hey, dress however you like." Chuck Billy is kind of like a, 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 a an affordable James Hetfield, wasn't he? Like Chuck Billy was kind of like an affordable James Hetfield back then, anyway. Cheapo, yeah. cheapo Metallica. Yeah, his voice. He was kind Testament. of trying to sound like, yeah. Um, so what I think, what you want to know what I think about this? Well, you are, you're in his uh, age range. I guess we're both on opposite ends of his age yeah. range. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, he's so you have your perspective. But I, I went through, you know, like I never really dressed metal into more recent. I was always into metal, you know, like just growing up. I got into metal when I was twelve, but I never really went full metal. I'd wear a shirt here and there, and I had long hair when I was a teenager. But, you know, throughout my 20s, I just dressed like in polo shirts and stuff and, you know, cargo shorts shoot me for um, way past the 90s, way past, way past and it was okay to wear cargo shorts. But I didn't know. I didn't care. I just go and I had short hair, you know, and I still liked metal, but I liked a lot of other kinds of music as well. But I just wasn't trying to look metal. I started tr- like really like, w- you know, doing the metal look. It's more of like a midlife crisis thing, you know. You know, as I'm getting old, I'm like, hey, I want to live that, you know, the time I never so, lived. Yeah, I, I met you when you were 37 and yeah, you. Yeah, I, I look normal. Looked very normal. Yeah, I had like you know short hair, um, but you know. I thought you might be like a hardcore guy. <laughs> yeah, with the cargo. I was probably in cargo shorts, <laughs> so that that would explain <laughs> that. Or is it? Or is it the clutch? Oh god. Um, yeah, but uh, um, you know the the final lesson in all this is well, um, okay. So you enjoy je- dressing metal now? Yeah, like I I don't like go to work looking like metal. But I wear black a lot. He made a battle vest. I did make one the past I, few years. Yeah, I painted the the back patch and everything. Um, but you know, uh, yeah, you know, I, and I, you know, I have my bullet belt. I play with, and I get made fun of my band for wearing my bullet belt. Uh, and I do it even more. I'm like, you know, every time we have a show, I'm a guy, I'm a guy's putting on the bullet belt. Um, but the the the, the old the um, takeaway from this is um, uh, Daniel Son. Metal, not yeah, metal, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't Shane Gillis me for that either internet okay i'm not smod <laughs> okay don't don't shane gillis me um but yeah so yeah it's you know it doesn't matter how you dress if you want to dress like it that's fine if you don't want to if you want to be a normal guy you know you're, you're not going to get made fun of at a metal show for being like a normal looking guy there's plenty of normal looking guys at metal shows that are having a great time i mean you, sh- you certainly wouldn't in new york new york yeah I don't know. I can't speak uh, yeah, to the I, rest that's of the world. True. I can't really. But I, I you um, know, like, why would it? I, I think, you know, like, as uninclusive as metal people are about some things, um, you That's know. the thing. It's, I feel like part of his ar- his argument here is that metal is inclusive. I, I like, think for the most part. N- no, I think metal is elitist for the most part. Well, you get those guys as well. But I've um, never encountered, you know, I would always go to shows. I went to like a million guar shows uh, dressed normally. Well, actually, well, what? you don't want to no. wear your good well, shit well, no, to the guar true. show. No, a guar show is I would actually dress all in white, so that doesn't count. 
but because uh, I want to get painted. But you know, I, I you know all the metal shows I had been to in the past, you know all the many metal shows I've been to, uh, I never dressed metal. I would I'm never sick. go in a metal shirt or anything. Metal is not being about being uh, open minded and inclusive of everybody. It's about being in the underground of having this like weird undercurrent current you're tapped into, mm-hmm. and dressing metal now caveat i'm not a fashion person like girls at metal shows can get crazy with how they look and yeah I'm, they get the, the whole costume and on i i'll put on a t-shirt so it's like i'm not like a you know yeah you just have your t-shirt and your your uh your i'm bag. not like metal fashion here you, you have your uh your fanny pack <laughs> well that everyone's the fanny that pack now. is not a fashion no, everyone's thing everyone's doing that now the fanny pack is just like it's i'm necessity it's just way nicer in a rough show to have a fanny yeah, pack than a purse everyone, you don't want to be carrying a purse in a rough show yeah everyone does it now so the yeah. fanny pack is for safety um, um yeah and you know everyone wants to you want to see each other you go to these shows and be like yeah you and me us it's like we go to any other part of the city and there will be no big con- confluence of black t-shirts most of and, our, our assholes and yeah okay but it's about Just bringing don't. together this weird little community that you're all tapped into this weird uh current and you all get to come together and see each other at the metal show. No one really, and do you not want to yeah. participate in that? No one I talks guess? to I, I see these kids talking to her. Like maybe they all came there together, but no one like comes up to me and talks to me. You know, unless I'm wearing my carnivore backpack. I maybe some know. people will talk to I me. I think Axel's big problem here is that his job is metal. So for me and for Maledictus, we have normal lives. Yeah. We can't dress metal. Yeah, I was Well, wondered, you can dress metal, actually. Yeah. I, I, I can't dress metal yeah, at my job. I could technically dress metal. I work at a fashion place. And by the way, we sell like $700 like Metallica t-shirts, by the way. So that's another thing of this, you know, that whole Kardashian effect. But anyway, I don't really want to get into that right so now. I think for your average but, person, you know, they go to a show, they want to wear their metal stuff. Yeah. It, but, you know, it's a, it's a popularity contest, it's, especially with these younger people. A lot of them are younger, of course. You know, you get the older guys, but mostly when we popularity? go to shows. Mostly when we go to shows, like we're going to really be there with a lot of younger people. A lot of the older people aren't going to make the effort anymore. You're going to get less of them, right? So, you know, we like know a few people that go out to shows, but, you know, like a lot of times it's young people. I don't know. I feel like this is for the argument for like death metal not dressing up. Yeah. Well, you know. It's like we like the bands that dress up. Yeah. It, it, you put a little extra into well, it. Well, yeah. You know? when, when you're a band, though, I think you have to really put on the costume. And from the standpoint of being a band, like, who do you want in your audience? Do you want cool-looking people in your audience? Well, you know, it doesn't really. People wearing your shirt? You want people to show up if you're, <laughs> like, a yeah. small band. Um, but, you know, but if you're a band up there, I don't really like when I see bands just, like, up there, like, wearing, like, their New Jersey Devils jersey and their cargo shorts. You know, that, you know like, I know, I know, like, real bands won't really do that because they know. They know the drill. But, you know, bands around here, when I play a show, like, they'll come up and, like, eh, make a little effort. You know, that's why I wear my bullet belt. And I get made fun of by, by these boomers I'm in a band with. They make fun of me all the time. But I don't, I, you have to look the part. Anyway, I don't have a message beyond, like, saying that you can't not dress metal, obviously. Yeah, it, it's, you, you know, want, it's, yeah, it, yeah, absolutely. It doesn't, you know, it, people that are, don't take this shit too seriously... You know, like you'll you'll know who they are at the show, and you know they're the kind of dudes that like push little girls out of the way to get up front. You know, you know who you are. But I, I think you know dressing metal is part of the fun thing of being a metal a metal fan. Yeah, I like to do. You know, yeah, I like to do it now. I will. You know. So don't take that away from us, Axel. (laughs) No, no, he's fine. You know, you know. (laughs) Why are you writing articles? Listen, you know, Axel and Vince Neil. You know, I, I respect you guys. I know you guys get a lot of hate. You know, just like. I do, you know, because we talk shit, you know, you like to talk a lot of shit. A lot of people call you an SJW and stuff, you know, and I, I look at your comments and a lot of people just hate you, but you, you exist and then maybe you live for, it. you want to be a heel as well. And I respect that, you know, so you know, I've, n- I've never had a problem with Metal Sucks. I'm, ne- I'm never, I'm never going to really shit talk them. We, we, you know, we use your, we quote your articles all the time, guys. So you always have, you know, the, the latest gossip. So, you know, much respect to you guys. You know, I'm not going to join the army of haters for you guys. All right. So. Another PSA. One more thing. 